Green Room has one of the most interesting plots I think I've ever heard in, in quite some time. This group of punk rockers goes to a nightclub and performs a song. It's not exactly a safe club. Why? Because it's run by neo-Nazis. That's insane. And then they get held up in this green room while hiding from some crazy neo-Nazis that are led by the one and only Patrick Stewart. So, A24 is behind this film. I'm always excited to see whatever they bring out because every single film, well, nearly every single film they've released has been, like, gold to me. Last year, they had Fantastic Year with films like Room, Amy, Ex Machina, so many others. This year, we had The Witch, which is an excellent film. We got Swiss Army Men coming out. We have The Lobster coming out. A24 has a lot of films coming out this year, so I was really looking forward to Green Room. It just came out this past weekend. I saw the film yesterday. To be quite honest, once I got out of the theater, I didn't know how I felt. I needed at least a day to think about how I felt, and it's been a day, and I can tell you that I really like the film a lot. The first thing I will bring up is the performances. Everyone does a great job. Anton Yelkin, he's well known for playing Chekhov in the new Star Trek films. I thought he was very, very good in this movie. All the other people did very good, but how about Patrick Stewart? He was great. Patrick Stewart was awesome in this film. He was very intimidating. This is such a different character from Charles Xavier and John Luke Picard. This is a very different character from Patrick Stewart, and he did a fabulous job. I wish he would do more films like this. The direction was awesome. Awesome. I had not seen the director's previous film, Blue Ruin. I heard of it. I just never got around to watching it. Maybe I'll consider watching it. I'll consider watching it now after seeing this film. This film left me on the edge of my seat. I had no clue what was going to happen. From the 20-minute mark until the end of the film, my hands were glued to the railings. I, I was just like, oh my god, what's going to happen? Who's going to live? Who's going to die? What the f*** is going on? Like, this movie just made me like, explode. I think I might shit my pants at one point, or maybe even piss. So, I mean, I don't know. My reactions during this movie were, like, insane. I I felt like I felt like I was in hell, to be quite honest, but in the good way, because this movie is very messed up. You just don't know who's good and who's bad. Like, that's the great thing. You don't know whether or not to trust any of the characters in this movie. Like, it's crazy. The back and forth between everyone is fantastic. And... Yeah, the direction, this is a very suspenseful film. It's not easy to watch. I'm going to say it right now. This is a horror thriller movie. I would consider this a horror thriller. And it really did leave me on the edge of my seat. The writing was very good. I liked the way the film was shot. It had the nice indie flair to it. But leaning into my problems with the movie, you didn't really know who to root for. Yeah, you didn't want any of the band members to get killed or anything. But you just didn't know... If you would root for them, or you would root for the neo-Nazis, and you're like, rooting for them? Are you crazy? But the thing is, though, once you see the movie, you'll understand what I'm saying. And my biggest issue with the film is that, for a 90-minute film, it does go very slow. It has that slow burn to it, and I've said numerous times that I'm fine with slow burn, but in this case, it kind of annoyed me. During some moments, like half of it, half the movie, I'm like, oh yeah, this is going very well in terms of pacing, then... Other parts, I was just like, eh, speed it up a little bit. Just speed it up a little bit. People are going to complain that there's some unanswered questions. I thought the movie ended very well. And yeah, could it have gone on a little longer? Yeah, but I think for a claustrophobic movie like this, I think it's meant to go on for nine minutes. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the Green Room. I had a great time watching it. Will I watch it again? I do plan on seeing it again. Not in the theater, probably when it comes out on Blu-ray. So with that being said, I'm going to give the film an A-. minus. Guys, tell me how much you followed this movie. You saw it. Did you see Blue Ruin? If so, what did you think of that? And what's your favorite indie film of the year so far? Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon.